So this is how you are going to create a video of your animation. Um, first, go when you go into iMovie, you are going to import from your videos. So we will have already exported the time lapse from Procreate, and now you're going to find it in your videos and bring it into iMovie. Um, the first thing we want to do is kind of scan it for areas that you need to split and delete. So um, the clip itself is at the bottom, and when you tap on it, you will get some of the tools to edit the video. So I'm just kind of scanning through, and I at first I'm going to delete the place where that frame is around the yellow flower. So you click on the clip itself, I'm getting, you have to line it right where you want to cut it. So that's what is happening right now in the video. And then when you click on the actual video, there's a, a toolbar at the bottom that says actions. And then you click that and it has a little pair of scissors and then go to the other side of it and do the same thing. And when you go to actions, you're choosing split and then click on the piece that you want to delete and you'll click on that piece and over to the right, there's a little trash can that says delete and you'll delete that piece. And so I'm continuing to do that. Right now, the video is still very short. It's still a time lapse. Um, after we edit out some of the clips um, that I don't want in there, we will then lengthen the video and you can play around with speed with it. Some parts of it you could leave fast, some parts you could slow down. Um, the whole idea is to do something creative with the, with the drawing piece and the time-lapse piece of Procreate. So here I am just removing, um, removing the images as they were imported. So because you want it to look kind of more, a little more magical than, than, uh, than teaching. So I'm um, taking out any time where I brought the picture in as a whole. And so just starting with the, the cutout flower. Um, to see your clip larger, you are going to put a two finger drag on the, um, on the timeline and that will allow you to zoom in on the video. So it'll come in at the, at the um, length that it is, but you can zoom in to see it frame by frame. Um, okay, so then now I am increasing the speed of some of these and I saw once I made zoomed in on the clips I saw some more things I needed to edit out um, Until you're all done you can continue to edit It's all really creative license and making some choices about what you want this video to be like So I think I decided, you know, I don't want the full bear. I want them to kind of pop in there so these time-lapse videos always start with the full image and then they fade out to white. So you can decide if you want that still. You can always take that one out too. So now I'm zooming in and um, deciding what should be fast and what should be slow. So when you click on a clip, you in the actions, there is a little speed image and you click on that and there's a turtle for slow and a rabbit for fast and so you can drag that anywhere in between you'll test it out and preview it and then um, sometimes you have to zoom in on the clip in order to split it if it's not long enough or you can slow it down and then split it and then if you want it to be fast again you can just speed it up so there's the beginning of the time lapse it comes in that way from procreate and then you edit it so ignore that little notification. I should edit that out of this video. And then when you get the video where you want it to be, then you can start to add sound effects. So I'm not requiring that you bring in any sound effects from anywhere else. You can just use the ones from iMovie. For this video, I played around with just using the same sound over and over the arpeggio. So it's sort of like a piano, a little piano arpeggio. And I just overlap them over and over. The video that I showed you in class, I used um, the applause, the laughter, anything that sort of sounded like an audience cheering. I think there's cheer in there, kids cheering. 
um, just to, you know, give it a little bit of feeling. If you want to bring in your own sound effects or, or record them, you're more than welcome to. You could also record your voice or you could go and bring in royalty-free sounds. If you use sounds that are not royalty-free, that's okay if you want to put music to it, but then it's just you don't want to post it um, anywhere because it might violate copyright. But um, there are some websites that you can get royalty-free sound effects or royalty-free music, and that just means it's um, free for you to use. Oftentimes you have to credit the artist, so you can do credits at the end of the video, just saying, um, you know, music provided, sounds provided by. But if you use the sound effects that are in iMovie, those should be royalty free. And it could be the same sound effect the entire time. It could be a song, it could be you, it could be you're doing a voiceover like I am right now, or you can play around with the sound effects. I want you to take some creative freedom with this one. So um, you can even cut up the clip other ways too. It doesn't have to make logical sense. So you could cut the clip and put beginning in the end and end in the beginning. As long as you end up with a video that shows the process of the animal tribute and also something creative. I'm just looking for you to um, show me that you have worked in video editing and um, some creativity. That's it. So as we get closer to the end here of my, you're seeing me in the process, I don't actually finish this. I just, I threw some arpeggios in there. I'll go back and finish it later. But I did want you to see um, how you export it. And I don't want this video to be too long. It's already a little too long. So um, I think I stop pretty soon. And then I'll go back and I'll add the, play around with the sound a little bit more and add some more of the arpeggios to it. So I zoomed in just to make sure I liked, make sure you preview the whole thing, you get it to where you want it to be, and then you'll export it. So to do that, you are going to click done, and then it'll bring you to your screen where you can name it. And once you export it, it's still in your iMovie. So you can always go back and then you'll click share and save it to your videos. And hopefully we can put these on our portfolios. Thanks for watching.